I welcome you all to this uh, new lecture series in engineering mathematics on ordinary differential equations. Throughout the playlist, we'll be going through the definitions, types, order, degree, and the solution methodologies, formation of differential equations, uh, keeping the scope of uh, gate engineering mathematics uh, syllabus, right? So this is the first video in uh, the playlist Ordinary Differential Equations. Uh, let's see the definition uh, of a differential equation. An equation involving dependent variables and their derivatives with respect to one or more independent variables is called a differential equation. So you may uh, think what is a dependent, what is an independent variable. For example, you have a function y equal to f of x. Okay. Here y is a dependent variable, x is an independent variable. Therefore, a differential equation is one which involves dependent variables and the derivatives of the dependent variables with respect to one or more independent variables. Okay, this is called a differential equation or a differential equation is an equation which involves differential coefficients okay or differentials with respect to one or more variables right what is that it is an equation which involves differential coefficients or differentials with respect to one or more variables what is a differential coefficient for example you take a function f of x what is the differential coefficient of f of x it is nothing but the derivative okay d of f of x by dx Okay, this is in simple terms. Uh, we are not going into the complex uh, uh, nature of understanding differential coefficients or derivatives. It's a simple understanding so that uh, uh, as a first step, we'll be in a position to start solving problems in differential equations, right? Next, what is a differential? Differential represents an infinitesimal change of a function. Okay, so if you write something like df, this represents an infinitesimal change of this function df, okay? If you write something like dy, infinitesimal change in y, uh, this is completely different from delta y. Here the change in y is considerable, something which you can measure, but the change here is infinitesimal. That's the difference between dy and delta y, right? So when, a, when an equation has uh, differential coefficients and differentials with respect to one or more variables, right? Then that particular equation is called a differential equation. This is a basic understanding, a basic definition to differential equation. Now let's see the examples here. So this is a differential coefficient, okay? Y is a dependent variable, X is an independent variable, okay? So you have a derivative here of Y with respect to X, and the equation contains differential coefficients of y with respect to x. Okay, so let's see another example. Here also it's the same, but this is of second order. Okay, we'll come to the definition of order and uh, degree uh, in the next uh, slide uh, for, for the time being. So this is also a differential coefficient. This is also a derivative of the second order, right? So here, if you see uh, dou phi by dou x is equal to dou square phi by dou t square. This is also a differential equation. The representation of dou here represents this equation as partial differential equation. Okay, uh, why partial differential? Uh, we will see in the next slide the basic classification between ordinary and partial differential equation. Okay, next y dx plus x dy equal to zero. These are differentials, okay? The, this is a differential in x, this is a differential in y. So uh, together they make a differential equation, right? With this basic understanding, now let's see what is an ordinary differential equation. An equation containing only ordinary derivatives of one or more dependent variables of a single independent variable, okay? An equation containing only ordinary derivatives of 
one or more dependent variables but with respect to a single independent variable now let's see an example here so d square y by dx square plus dy by dx the whole square plus y equal to x so here if you see the derivative all the derivative or differential coefficients are with respect to x only only a single independent variable okay now the second one x dy by dx plus d square y by dx square is equal to e power x. This is nothing but the derivative of y with respect to x. Second derivative of y with respect to x. There is only a single independent variable here. So such kind of a differential equation is called ordinary differential equation. Okay. Where the number of independent variables is nothing but 1. Now, what is a partial differential equation? An equation containing partial derivatives of one or more dependent variables of two or more independent variables. Okay, so here you have two or more independent variables existing. Okay, let's see the example dou z by dou x plus dou z by dou y is equal to phi z. Okay, here you have x and y as an independent variable z being a dependent variable that is there are two independent variables which are present in a differential equation that is the reason it is called partial differential equation that is the derivative of a dependent variable is with respect to two or more independent variables now let's see the next example dou phi by dou x the whole square plus dou phi by dou y the whole square plus dou phi by dou z the whole square equal to phi if you see here there are three independent variables that is the derivative of phi with respect to x phi with respect to y phi with respect to z okay in such case we say that the differential equation is partial differential equation and also the notation for ordinary derivative we write d by dx for partial derivative we write dou by dou x okay so here in partial differential equation the number of independent variables are two or more okay so this is a basic classification between ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation in this particular playlist initially we will go through the different types of ordinary differential equation how to frame an ordinary differential equation what are the solution methods uh, in uh, solving a differential equation then subsequently we'll be going into partial differential equation right now let's see what is order and degree of an ordinary differential equation let's define order a differential equation is said to be of order n if the nth derivative is the highest derivative in the equation or the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest order derivative that occurs in the equation okay so what is an order a differential equation is said to be of order n if the nth derivative is the highest derivative in the equation or the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest order derivative that occurs in the equation right now let's see what is a degree the highest degree or power of the highest order derivative is defined as the degree of the differential equation right and there is a condition here the differential equation should be free from fractions, uh, radical powers, fractional powers and all these things. Okay, so let's see an example. So 1 plus d square y by dx square whole power 8 by 3 is equal to dy by dx. So what is that you see here? First thing is you see a fractional power. Try to eliminate this fractional power. So you do uh, cube on both sides. 1 plus d square y by dx square whole power 8 is equal to dy by dx whole cube. So what is the order here? The highest order derivative. Okay, it is of second order. Okay, and what is the power of the highest order derivative in this particular equation? When you do the expansion, the highest power will be? 8 therefore the order will be 2 
the degree will be 8 for this particular differential equation. Okay, so uh, this is uh, a very important uh, concept in ordinary differential equations. Uh, these questions are asked frequently uh, in your uh, examination. So let's solve some three to four questions for our uh, general understanding how to go about finding the order and degree of a differential equation, right? Degree and order of the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx minus 6y equal to 0. What is that? d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx minus 6y. This is equal to 0. So what is the highest order derivative here? This is the term having the highest order derivative. It is 2. Therefore, order is 2. And what is the power of the highest order derivative? This is to the power 1. So, degree is 1. Okay. Is this clear? Next. Let's go to the next question. The order and degree of the differential equation x dy by dx plus 2 by dy by dx is equal to y square. So what is the differential equation that is given? dx plus 2 by dy by dx is equal to y square. What is that uh, generally people do? Uh, they do not take this fraction into consideration. Okay. They immediately say that the highest order derivative is 1 and uh, this is of the first order, this is of the first order, the greatest power is 1, uh, I mean the highest power is 1, so order is 1, degree is 1. Unfortunately, you have that option here, okay, but that's not correct. We have uh, read a note point uh, while uh, we were discussing about degree. So you must make sure that the equation is free from fractions. Okay, so let's multiply with dy by dx and take the denominator to the right hand side, x times dy by dx, the whole square plus 2 is equal to y square dy by dx. Now the equation is free from fractions. Okay, so what is the order here? The highest order uh, derivative is 1. So order is 1. The highest power of the highest order term okay so here the power is 1 here the power is 2 for the highest order term so degree is 2 okay so the order is 1 degree is 2 answer is option b here order is 2 degree is 1 but he has asked degree and order so it is 1 and 2 so please be careful, okay, uh, while uh, you are reading the question, it need not be order and degree at all times. You can ask degree and order also. Uh, so in general, uh, as a standard notation, we go ahead uh, ticking the option, keeping in mind order and degree. So in that case, it will be option B, but that's not asked uh, what is asked in the question. So please be very conscious when you are reading the question and uh, uh, taking the option in the examination, right? So now, now let's take another example. The differential equation, what is that which is given? 1 plus dy by dx, the whole square, the whole cube is equal to c square, d square y by dx square, the whole square. So what is the highest order term here? d square y by dx square in the entire equation. Therefore, order is nothing but 2. Okay. And what is the power of the highest order derivative here? It is 2. Okay. Degree is 2. Okay. So the given differential equation is second order and second degree. Now, let's take the last question. The order and degree of the differential equation. Uh, let's write the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 5 times dy by dx the whole square plus y whole power 1 by 3 
this is equal to zero. Okay, you cannot directly conclude uh, the degree from this particular differential equation because you have a fractional power. Okay, so now let's remove this fractional power. You take this term to the right hand side d square y by dx square is equal to minus 5 times dy by dx the whole square plus y whole power 1 by 3. Okay, now you do cubing on both sides d square y by dx square the whole cube is equal to minus 125 times dy by dx the whole square plus y okay now here what is the highest order term d square y by dx square so order is 2 and what is the power of the highest order derivative here 3 so degree is 3 so order in degree is 2 and 3 Okay, he has asked order in degree, not degree and order. So it is option C. Right? So this is a basic uh, introductory video of uh, what a differential equation is. What is the difference between an ordinary differential equation, partial differential equation, and uh, uh, the basic uh, definitions of order in degree. Okay? And how to find the order in degree of an ordinary differential equation. I hope you understood uh, the basics. In the next video, we will be going through the classification of ordinary differential equations. Stay tuned. If you have any doubts, you can comment below in the comment section. We will try to answer your question as and when possible. Take care and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.